Cool. All right, Holly Clark of Create Fayetteville. How are you doing today? Good. Yep. So where the heck is Fayetteville anywhere in West Virginia? <laughs> Fayetteville's in the southern part of the state. We're located right on the rim of the New River Gorge. And that's known for the arch bridge that crosses. That's the thing on the back of the quarter of West Virginia, right? It is. Yeah. <laughs> it is. So, you know, this is a national park now, but it didn't used to be. It used to be a coal mining area, right? True. So you can still see some of the remnant coal mines, but they sort of turned it into this big national park. And what's the big industry here now in this area? Uh, whitewater rafting has done a lot for this area, for sure. Um, you also see just general tourists passing through um, the park itself with the hiking, biking, trails, etc. Huge draw, mountain bike, or excuse me, mountain climbing. Right. Um, yeah. So, I mean, people come here from all over the world for not just the whitewater rafting, but the rock climbing and things of that nature. Where, where's, the, where's the craziest person that you ever met that came from a different part of the world around here? Um, let's see, Marcus, I think, is from New Zealand. Uh, <coughs> and for sure, they are attracted by the recreational activity. Um, but as you know, Jeff, Create West Virginia is all about what then do we do to keep them here? Mm -hmm. The folks that enjoy all those amenities, the recreational amenities, and the arts and um, other things in a community, what can we do? So that's what we're working on in Fayetteville. So, you know, this, this economy here is interesting. They've, we've already made a transition from coal mining to tourism uh, by protecting the environment and, and building an economy around it. But you're trying to take it a little further. You've got your own local Create Fayetteville group here. To, just to talk to you a little bit about what you guys are trying to achieve and who's participating. Sure. Um, I've tried to recruit as diverse a population as possible because it's very important in a community like this that does include a population of coal miners um, and folks that are live, working in the tourism industry that typically don't come together um, to talk about change. And we've been fortunate to have that uh, begin that conversation begin to happen. So you hear then that like interests are rising. And folks actually do agree on things that need to happen in the community um, to bring about positive change and economic development. Cool. And uh, you actually have a coal miner as part of part of your group. What's what's his interest in the whole thing? Yeah, he doesn't want to be a coal miner. Um, he sees the safety concerns, um, and he sees his buddies, you know, in the lifestyle they're leading, and he wants a better life for them and for himself and for his family. And he has a family of four, wife and three kids, and he's gotta find a means to support them. And he knows that um, he can do that himself. He's become an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Or he'd also like to help his buddies, you know, if there's, um, if we can recruit high paying jobs, uh, make that happen here, he'd really like to see that happen, so. Well, that's pretty amazing. What do you do here? What's like, what's your What's your gig? I'm a transplant and I telecommute. So I'm able to work for a company that's two and a half hour drive away and still enjoy all the amenities here, mm. the beautiful scenery. And are a lot of people doing that here, you think? There absolutely are a lot of people doing that. Um, there are an equal amount of folks that have lived there all their lives have enjoyed this beauty for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a little surprising to come here. If, if you're someone who saw the mining accidents on CNN and you had a perception of what opportunities are like here, what, what do you think would be different and sort of surprising for someone that would come to this area after having that expectation? Um, West Virginia, I think that probably the national perception that does come across strong is its people and the resil resiliency of them. Um, and, you know, there are folks that know people who were affected by that tragedy, tragedy most recently. Um, and it, it is empowering them to bring about change, I, I think. Um, I don't know if that's yeah. Really yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> it is, it is. Well, and you know, just like the coal miner who's trying to transition his life, there's already a lot of people that have transitioned their life here with different industry and different economy. So, it's a pretty vibrant place, so I guess that's why I was ranking one of the top ten cool towns in the country, right? Right, <laughs> right. Well, cool. Thanks, Holly. Bye. <laughs>